Hello, everyone. Hello. We're playing Togu's Kumalak. Or Nine Dung Balls. Oh, go ahead Nine and meet that. <laughs> nice. Or Togu's Corkle. Yeah. Which, and Nine Sheep Dropping is also. But on this one, it also says Nine Dung Balls, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's in the Moncala family. We played this once here before on our channel. Uh, we'll make it down Matt. Um, they go counterclockwise in the Moncala family, so you drop one each turn, and you're trying to get at least 82, and we'll kind of explain it as we go. Yeah. Go counterclockwise, you leave one in your original space. Unless there's only one, which you move it. Yeah. So you're up first. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's as far as I can go. Everything else goes back from there. If it ends in an even, so if you land in your enemy territory and it ends in an even thing, you collect an even amount of stones or core balls, or, um, you collect those stones. Which Mike did. Collected some stones. So. Oh, that's not fun. I need to land there. What is that one? <laughs> so 82 to 80 would be the win, 81 to 81 would be a draw. Played in Central Asia. Post the rules and links below of where we played and where you can read rules. Anticipation. So I need. Oh, okay. That, that does hammer my spirits. So you can make a three. So when you make a three, I guess we'll show that it comes up. Yeah. You have the option to make a redstone. Anything that goes in that pit will be yours. Do you have to end on making a three? So it has I believe to be so. like. Okay. That makes things slightly harder. But we can, we can look that up. Oh yeah, so you don't got any, you don't have any odd ones. So I want to put one here at least. That's this one. Oh, what am I missing? Okay, okay, so I didn't end it on that one. Uh, let me see if I can undo it. Uh, so there's that one. I mean, there's all, <laughs> now that I think about it, there's only nine moves per, possible per yeah. thing, so you can just click on all of them and see which one turns out the best. That works on some of my things. Yeah. But I'm, I mean, there will be some strategy. But, yeah. Uh, 
So you made a three. Did did you make it? Th- no, I didn't end on the three. I ended on an, um, oh, making okay. an even number, so I took the stones. Gotcha. Like here, gang gang. Nice. Oh, somebody, uh, Jarl Carlander Bughouse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a uh, person on uh, Podchess. Yeah, I remember that. How's it going? And Togo's Kumalak, a fairly popular game. A popular. Turkish slash Kyrgyzstani. Uh, Mancala variant or Mancala derivative. It's a Mancala game. Ooh. Ah. So it's like the Mancala you might have played at your grandma's house, like I did. I played a lot of the Mancala at my grandma's house. <coughs> So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you end in your enemy's territory on an even number, you collect those stones. Um, you move in a traditional Moncala type of way by dropping stones you need to pit. Goal is to get, we're at 24 to 25. The goal is to get to 82 to 80. 81 to 81 is a draw. So yeah, I looked at uh, Jarl, Jarl's Leeches. Uh. And he is quite the player. Quite the impressive player. I saw either it was top 50 or 100. I think in Cra- Crazy House 3 check. Maybe King of the Hill? Where is it? I'm aggressive. Three check is good for aggressiveness. I know that one. That's how I learned to be aggressive, kind of. And playing three check. It's like, I guess I have to be aggressive if I want to win these games. thing about uh, can you slide your thing over a little bit I mean it's only yeah. not really that's as far as could you like shrink it a little bit I don't know oh that works alright uh, oh that, that kind of <laughs> <coughs> yeah yeah that's true uh, yeah, I noticed that. Mm. Uh, I've been, I've been top one hundred and three check before, but not King of the Hill, and not Crazy House. But I have been in Horde. Most most of the other variants, I got pretty good at one point. Horde and HHS. And then Atomic and Racing Kings. <coughs> I'll have to go with that. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of <laughs> do, but I kind of don't. I think you just want to leave as many even numbered Is that a combination. Is that good for me? Do I get a thing there, or does it keep going? Or does it go there? No, you ended on that yeah, one. Ended on that one. Yeah. Oh, so close. That gives you a point. That gives you two points. Well, I guess 
One point. I give, then I'll give you one point. No. Oh, this is not looking good. Well, I guess we're still even, so I'm not too worried. But I need to make one of those red things. I do really like Horde, but um, I guess 960 would be my ultimate goal to be like top. I guess, yeah, that'd be pretty tough since Grandmasters and whatnot play it. I really like King of the Hill. I, I was really surprised that it doesn't have a bigger... Um, I can't even get to. So that's a, sorry, I can't. 2K. 2K, not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do really like King of the Hill. Uh, and I'm surprised that it doesn't have a bigger base. Because it seems like standard players would play that quite a lot. Like it could be like the most introductory, easy variant or whatever. Halfway there. Well, <laughs> I played King of the Hill with Richard Rapper once, and he took all my pieces. It was just chess. So it's if you end on okay, it's if you end on an even one. So, so I'm not doing good. Yeah, if you end on an even. I'm not doing good. He has to make an even number when you land. These even give me points, do they? No, no, no. No. <laughs> Let's prevent you for one move from getting a bunch of them. I played Koth with Richard Rappert once, and he just took all of my pieces. It was just chess. I was. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Who's Richard Rappert? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I should know, but... Um, he's a strong GM. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, it does sound familiar. I'm, I'm thinking of a face, but I'm not... I'm not 100%, so... Um, yeah, I, th I mean, I think you can play just normal chess. I mean, you should be able to win, but... Uh, yeah, but yeah. they were playing. Yeah, King like in GMs, then, GMs should be able to win. Yeah. Against. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just use that one to get rid of the only odd numbered one that had more than. Should be able to make a three though, right? So one. Uh. All right, maybe not. I just need to get rid of that. Even when it gives you one. Ah, oh, okay. I only played one variant of Makala. It was is a popular, it was actually a kind of a popular thing amongst like in, in like swim meets. Yeah. Um, but for me, my grandma had one. The grandma that we would go visit for Thanksgiving, and there was nothing else to do there. There were a couple other 
board games, but those board games usually resulted in arguments. That's also where I learned to play chess. Was my dad was like, I I know, yeah, okay. I know how to like play chess, sort of. I know I know how all the pieces move. <laughs> so now anything that goes into these red pits, um, this one goes to me, and this one goes to Mike. Um, I don't know if I have to worry too much because Mike's doing pretty good. I need to capture a bunch of them. Yep. I'm playing more defensively and just taking taking things when I feel like I can. Three check has a lot of, like, you have to do these lines. Yeah. Or else you're getting, yeah, it's a very aggressive thing. So, but also, like, more memorized lines, I think, than King of the Hill. I do want to get rid of this one. Seems pretty normal. That one gives me more. Back up a little bit. I'm gonna look up that name. What was the name again? Uh, Richard Rapport with two P's. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I still need to get rid of this one because now, yeah, I definitely need to get rid of this one. Or at least. Or at least add one to it. Add so one to it, yeah. yeah. But I'm, uh, that gives me a lot of points somehow. Because I end on this one. Yeah, so you get. Oh, uh, I get four points. 39 to 44. Yeah. You're catching up. Whoa. <sighs> oh, where's my jacket? Where's this one? Oh, Watson. Let's see one. Oh, he's not in the back of any camera. He's sitting in that chair. That's the first time he's ever sat in that chair. He's usually trying to scratch it and make him mad. So confused with this showing. Um, uh, I guess I'll... Okay, I'll make that move.
could have swore there's I could have, could have swore I count that. Oh, I had an odd number. And then you gave me one more when you when yours went around. Uh, mm, mm, makes sense. There's none on my side. I think that, that there is some rule about that. I think if I don't have any, if like you're the only one that has left on your side, I think you win those. So that's why I'm kind of worried about that. Hmm. Uh, it, the play, uh, If a player doesn't have any seeds on his side on his turn, his opponent takes all the remaining seeds to his. What happens when you leave zero? In a in a. I don't think anything happens. So yeah, if I have no, if I have nothing left on my side, then you take all the ones on your side, and they're your points. Gotcha. Which you only have to get to eighty-two, so you're actually pretty close. This is true. This would put it on your side. I put betting odds on you on this one. <laughs> I think because like have each turn, pretty much you would get a point for passing through the the red one. That's true. I haven't thought about that. Uh, I just want to know if I need to dump this one first or not. Yeah. Fuck it. Fifty. Eighty-two to win, which means if you just oh yeah, Huzzah, just it. I yeah. just play that one. Huzzah! Nice. So it's Togu's Kumba. Cool. Board game on IG Games. We'll place the rules and links below. It's a Mancala game. I like Mancala games. I enjoy them as well. I wouldn't say I'm great at them, but I enjoy them. Uh, on the stream, we'll be right back. If you're on the video. On YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.